Howdy lovelies, how are you all doing? Welcome back to our crafting, where we learn, grow and craft together. So without further ado, let's jump into session 8 of our art journal series. As you know by now, I've tried to show you a variety. Yes, I am loving it because I can just have a play. It is really lovely showing you around. For those of you that might be thinking about this, just to remove those little shark's teeth. So I picked the yellow one today. So what do I have? What do I have? I, um, you know, I love vintage. So I think, yeah, let's get into it. A bit of stamping, a bit of stamping. I need vintage photo. Of course, I do need vintage photo. How else? Nothing will make sense. I need a bit of stamping to be done. Let's see, what do we have here? The hardest part for me is to choose the theme. And it's not hard that I don't know what to do. It's just I have all these ideas going through my mind. And it is sometimes hard to just decide on one. I'm going to ink up the stamp just with Distress Ink Vintage. And now I am not going to add it to a block. Yes, it is a big stamp, but something that you can do if you have such a big stamp and you don't have a big enough stamp block, it is to add your, your cardstock to the paper. Now, I don't want complete stamps. Because I don't know what I want where. Okay, kind of like that. Just some random background stamping. So that's the first layer. Then I might go in with a bit of walnut stain. That vintage shouldn't go too far. Shouldn't go too far. Going in with walnut stain now. darker and all good so for the next one yes I've used this the other day the paint is sticky 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 can you imagine because it was folded close I'll just leave this one for the moment and just grab another one or two maybe. Now, what do I want to do now? Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to ink this little doily. Vintage photo, of course, what else? Wait, be careful. I just torn that. I'm going to have to be a little bit Gentler. No, I don't have any. See, that was almost another one torn there. I don't have any tea or coffee dyed doilies at the stage. All right, now a little bit of that walnut stain. Continue 
Let's continue. Now to adhere this to the page. It's already open. Now, a bit of glue. Just be careful when adding a bit on the flowers just to help it glue down. And then, see? Now we have a bit of an issue. Just a tiny one. Just a tiny one. Just get that off there. Can't use a wet, wet wipe. It needs to be dry because this is distressing. It will smear. So I'm going to add that. More or less there. Just pressing down with... typical vintage feel. Now I've got some of my own printables here and then of course I would choose one or two from BG and SVG designs. I want the yellow because of the yellow. See which one will work. If I use the big one it will over overshadow that though I still like it. But then I want to include one of these it will, okay, maybe not that one. Let's see, let's see. This one is an oval. Then maybe we can add that green with a bit of pink all included there. I kind of like that. Or we can, process of elimination, use this one. But then I can't use that as well. I can maybe use this one that picks up the green and then we can add some postage stamps. Now I kind of like that one better. I really truly like that one better. Mm -mm. I like this one better. I will keep that one for another time and we will add that over there. This one there. Only a bit of the doily will it out or show and it's fine now I want to just okay that one is half stuck anyway so let's get this one sorted and this is just to keep it in its place no other reason this one then add it This is from DG and SVG Designs, and this is my own printable. And that can go one side. Let me just put it back in its container quickly. Then I know it is in its place already. Now, I think a bit of stamping will work just to add some dimension. I'm going to just add a few things there. With the acrylic blocks, it's it's awesome. You can see where your stamps are landing. Round espresso, which is very dark. Yes, I dab it on. If you smear it on, you take most of it off. Photographs, let's see. I just want to... that and then immediately back in its set this is from the warehouse district cms 124 set also a bit of why am i adding a compass photographs memories i think those are important i just want to get this sorted north it's always pointing the direction isn't it so yes it is a bit vintage looky grungy and it's all good but what is important for me is after a few conversations with numerous people over the last couple of days something that 
was a common theme is how people are being treated by so-called friends. And it just made me realize something I said some time ago, also while I was busy with a, a session that we should be so careful with how we treat people. It's sometimes, I don't know, it's just hard for me. Personally, it's hard watching people that's hurt because of what other people had said, done to them, people that they have trusted. And I'm sorry, I'm out of view here. And I just remembered life is fragile. Whether that was lies that were told, not once, not twice, way that people make others feel in the sense that you will trust them with stuff that you share to them in confidence and they then go and run their mouth on it to other people as if it was their story to tell, which ultimately <laughs> then breaks trust. Or just gossiping about your friends. They're supposed to be your friends. What happened to loyalty? To me, it's just a no-no. If I trusted you once with something and you've done that, gone to somebody else and shared what I have told you in confidence, without my permission, because remember this was said to you in confidence, your responses, we all gossip, which might be true for you, but it's not for me, then if I trust you again and you do the same thing, just know you had your tickets. There will not be a third time. Because once is a mistake, twice is a choice, but I'm not stupid enough for the third time. So that's how I operate. And it was just hard for me to come to that realization. If people, if you can't trust people, why do you want them in your inner circle? If you can't even trust them with things that you said in confidence to them, how in this world can you trust them with anything else? How can they then be your friend if they do not safeguard your respect for them? Safeguard in the sense that if you had told or shared something in confidence and they still go ahead and share that with somebody else, it means that you don't mean anything to them. Because if you did, they would have kept what you have shared with them quiet. It would have been sacred to them as well. So that means they don't value your friendship. Not to mention, if you had made plans with that person and last minute, they just decide to do something else and forget that you made plans that you had to do stuff together or were planning on doing stuff together. That to me just shows. Nope, it's time to move on. Not to be trusted, never to be repeated yet again. Sometimes hard. And then you might think, but what about forgiveness? And it's true. We should forgive and we should forget. But forgiveness doesn't mean you have to allow that person back into your life because they already showed you what is their ball game. And if they did, believe them. I think it was Oprah Winfrey that says, if people show you what you mean to them, believe them the first time. So don't even give them that second chance. But I always believe that people do make mistakes. And if they do make a mistake, I will give them that credit. Then yes, acknowledging, okay, it was a mistake. Sorry, yes, okay, great. But sorry to me means you change your behavior and not to repeat that ever again. So if you do, it means you are not truly sorry. Sorry is then a hollow word to you. You don't mean what you say. And that already to me is a red flag. So that's how it is. I think when you get older, you are less prone to drama. There is my little vintage inspired page. 
And yes, you don't always have to just stick with browns only. There can be a few different things. There's some greens, yellows, pinks, blues, and of course, a brown with a stamping background going. And there we have it. Thanks for joining me. Go work on your art journal. Do your thing. Get something on paper. Try. That is the biggest thing. Try. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. If you want to see more content like this, give a thumbs up. And as always, I'll be appreciating it if you subscribe to my channel too. And remember to hit that notification bell as well, so that you can be notified whenever I upload new content. See you back soon. Same place, same time. Goodbye.